Electronic plan review is an option for submitting and getting your plans reviewed. Instead of submitting a paper copy of the plan in our office, you can upload plan images and other required documents on our website. These will be assigned a plan tracking number and go through all of the same required departments as a paper plan. This will reduce the number of trips you will need to make here to drop off or pick up plans. It is necessary, in most cases, to come here to get the permit. And for types of projects that require it, a paper copy of the final approved plan still needs to be available to our inspectors on the job site. Plans can be submitted electronically by licensed contractors, homeowners, or licensed design professionals. The types of plans you are able to submit will depend on the type of web account you have, the types of work you are licensed to do, if a contractor, and the jurisdiction the project is located in. The list of electronic plan types shows what types of plans can be submitted online, who can submit them, what jurisdictions the plans can be submitted for, and which types allow the permit to be issued online. There is also a help walkthrough guide for each type of plan that will take you through all of the steps of submitting and resubmitting a plan electronically to the final approval and getting the permit. If you haven't already, sign up for a free homeowner or contractor web account. Go to our website at www.pprbd.org and click on the sign up link in the top right corner. To get started with submitting an electronic plan, you're going to want to sign on to your dashboard. From the plans menu, select new plan. Here you're going to select the type of plan. First select something from the new remodel dropdown to filter the choices under the type of plan or select all to see all types of plans you are allowed to submit. Once you select a type of plan, more information boxes will generate. Your contact information will pre-fill based on your web account. If you'd like to use different contact information, you can update this here. The email alerts box is defaulted to yes. If you do not wish to receive emails regarding plan review events with this project, then uncheck this box. Below the email alerts checkbox, you have the opportunity to leave a message to your reviewer. An address is required for site-specific projects. For new construction, the address will be verified during the enumeration review. With the exception of new construction, after you type the address number and street name, the address will auto-populate. The allowable jurisdictions will pre-fill based on the original type of plan you selected. After inputting your address, scroll up to the Owner section. This should auto-populate once you place your cursor inside the Owner box. The only thing left to do now is the project evaluation. After entering your project valuation, scroll up and click Save. You now have an electronic plan number. However, your plan has not yet been submitted. Next, we need to scroll down and enter the required images to get your plan into triage. Click the Add Images button and begin entering your images into the following page. You will notice several pre-selected drop-down menu items that are required for submitting this type of plan. Click the Choose File button to search your PC for the correct images. Once you've added the required images to the table and any other images you would like the reviewer to have, click the Upload Files button to attach your images to the plan. This will return you to the electronic plan detail page. The files you've uploaded will be listed in the table at the bottom of the page. Lastly, you will want to scan the page and make sure everything is ready for review. Based on the plan type I selected, I have a few more boxes of information to fill in. In this case, it's the individual square footage of each floor in my project. If everything looks ready for review, you can click the green Submit Plan button. Once the plan is submitted and entered into plan tracking, you'll be able to pay the fee online from this page. Up until you submit the plan, you can edit any of the information upload additional files, or delete anything uploaded by mistake. Once the plan is submitted, you won't be able to add any information to the plan until the review is complete. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.